Why does Jesus pray? It may help to know that the word disciple, methetes, means student, and Jesus is teaching us how to pray. Exploring the early church's view of prayer in Luke's gospel, Catherine Wright writes, Luke emphasizes Jesus' example, holding him up as a model for prayer. So ironically, perhaps, the early church catches this emphasis. Jesus' example lacks power, however, if his struggle for prayer is not real. Jesus' struggle for prayer? Now that's a thought. So we see Jesus and Mark making a habit of prayer for his sake, for ours. If part of our Exodus journey is learning to pray, what should we learn from Jesus? An important thing to note is his habit of withdrawal to pray. Now, let's read a now familiar passage again. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Going back to Catherine Wright, she summarizes Jesus' example as an invitation to spiritual practice, a way of spending time with God. If we still need to develop a habit of faithful prayer, simple things like a designated spot and time can aid our best intentions. That's what Mark shows Jesus doing, picking a spot and a time to pray to God. Do you have a spot and a time to pray habitually? Wait, let's say you have a spot and a time. What even is prayer? You know what? Let's look at the semantic field, the pool of thought that shapes this verb, the word pray. The Greek prosukamai simply means to petition deity. The Hebrew notion of prayer, palal, implies to pray is to speak up for someone or even to judge or to intervene. Stick with me. The Hebrew verb for prayer appears in the form of a reflexive reciprocal action so that the judging involved is a weighing of ourselves. Are we aligned with God? Find out in prayer. Stay with me. This verbal form, the hithpa'el, is used to express an intensive type of action with a reflexive voice. If you use this verb form on the word walking, it would mean going back and forth. Prayer must be a self-reflecting weighing of ourselves before God, a repeated reflex, a habit, almost there. So, if we were to summarize our findings, a broad view of the word prayer could be as such. Prayer is the habit of speaking up for yourself and others, assessing yourself before God. Honing in a bit more, God's followers in Jesus' day and beyond would have used the Psalms as a guide to prayer. And that's exactly what you'll find there, people speaking up for themselves and others before God. Prayer brings concerns to God. But what does it do? Does prayer change anything? Does it change us? Well, listen to Jesus' confidence in prayer. He says, have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. So, as Jesus says elsewhere, ask, seek, and knock as a habit. Prayer is essentially not about us, but about God and God's kingdom work. We don't bring a wish list to our personal genie. Instead, prayer is essentially about aligning oneself with God's will, getting on board with the kingdom work that God is doing, and asking for grace and help participating in that mission. So, would you find a spot and a time to pray as a habit?